So today I'm going to be doing a question from the 2000 AP Calculus test. And in this question it says consider the curve given by x y squared minus x cubed y equals 6. And part A is saying to show that the derivative of this function is 3x squared y minus y squared all over 2xy minus x cubed. So I started out by writing the original question in or the original equation. So we're going to have to use implicit differentiation to solve this since there's a y over on mixed in with x. So first we're going to have to use a product rule to find the derivative of the left side here. So I'm going to write out what I'm going to have to find the derivative of. So now we're going to go ahead and have to find the derivative of y squared, x, y, and x cubed, x cubed, and 6. So let's do that in the next step. So x times 2y dy dx, since we're finding the derivative of y, plus the derivative of x is just 1 times y squared. x cubed times the derivative of y, which is just going to be 1, but since we're taking the derivative of y, we're having to put dy dx plus the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared times y, and that's going to equal 0, since the derivative of a constant is always 0. So let's go ahead and simplify all of this. So we're going to have 2xy dy dx plus y squared minus x cubed dy dx minus 3x squared y. It's all equal to 0. So now that we have everything, we found the derivative of everything that we needed to, we need to solve for dy dx. So let's move everything that doesn't have a dy dx onto the left side and then work from there. So 2xy dy dx can stay on the left side, along with minus x3 x cubed <laughs> dy dx. All the rest needs to go onto the right side. So on the right side we'll have 3x squared y minus y squared. So now, since we're solving for dy dx, we need to find a way to do that. And to do that we're going to have to take out dy dx from this function on the left side, since both of them are multiplied it, multiplied by it, we can do this. D, dy over dx all times 2xy minus x cubed. And that's equal to 3x squared y minus y squared. So now that we have dy dx kind of on its own, we can just divide both sides by 2xy minus x cubed and we'll end up with the answer. 3x squared y minus y squared all over 2xy minus x cubed. Let's see if that matches what's on the paper and it does, so that's how you solve part A. Let's move on to B which asks us to find all points on the curve whose x-coordinate is 1. And we need to write an equation for the tangent line at each of these points. So, in order to do that, we're going to first have to find what the value of y is when x equals 1. And to do that, we're going to have to plug 1 in for x in the original function, which is xy squared minus x cubed y equals 6. So plug 1 in for x, 1 times y squared minus 1 cubed times y equals 6. And we end up with y squared minus y equals 6. So 
let's find the value of y by moving 6 over to the left side and factoring. So. And we end up with y equals 3 and y equals negative 2. <clears throat> so the two points that we have are going to be 1, x equals 1 and y equals 3, and x equals 1 when y equals negative 2. So from there, we're going to have to plug both sets, both coordinates into the derivative equation that we found in part a to find the slope of the tangent lines for each points. So let's start with this one and we'll do that over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in right away. So 3 times 1 squared times 3 minus 3 squared over 2, 1, 3 So on the top we're going to have 9 minus 9 all over 6 minus 1, which is going to equal 0 over 5. So the slope of this point is going to have to be 0. So the tangent line will be y minus 3 equals 0 times x minus 1. So now we just need to find the tangent line for this point, which we're going to do right over here. And we're going to do it the same way. So we're going to plug in 1 for x and negative 2 for y to find the slope and then put that into the tangent line equation. So we're going to have 3 times 1 squared times negative 2 minus negative 2 squared all over 2 times 1 is negative 2 minus 1 cubed. And we're going to end up with negative 6 minus 4 all over negative 4 minus 1. And this gives us negative 10 over negative 5 or 2. So the slope of this point, or this tangent line at these points, is going to be 2, and we can just plug that into the tangent line equation to get our answer. So it's going to be y plus 2 equals 2x minus 1. And that's how you do part B. And these are your answers. On to part C. So, part C says find the x-coordinate of each point on the curve where the tangent line is vertical. So we know when the tangent line is vertical that the slope is undefined, so the denominator is 0. So to do this, we're going to have to plug in, well first, I'm going to write the derivative equation because we're working with the slope. So we know it's vertical when the denominator is 0. So I'm going to put 2xy minus x cubed equal to 0. And from here, we need to solve for x, because we need to know the x values. So since there's an x in both this part and that part, we can take out 1x. And we'll end up with 2y minus x cubed is equal to y, or equal to 0. So from here, we see that x equals 0. And then we can take this part right here and put that equal to 0 and solve for, for y. So 2y minus x squared equals 0. Add x squared to the right side. 2y equals x squared and divide by 2. So y is going to equal 1 half x squared. So now we have the x value and the y value where the tangent line is vertical. So we'll just put this in answer form. So it's vertical when 
x equals 0 or y equals 1 half x squared. And that's your final answer.